this is the Creality A1 and this is the brand new Creality A1 Pro laser engraver. Let me summarize it for you in less than a minute before we look at it in more detail. The A1 Pro comes mostly assembled and fully enclosed to keep the smoke in and your eyes safe and therefore also has a class 1 laser rating. It is capable of engraving metal with a 2 watt IR laser module and it can also engrave and cut a variety of other materials with the 20 watt laser module it comes with. The laser heads can be changed with a quick swap mechanism. Also new, an auto leveling function. A camera on top allows for aligning the work pieces so you cut or engrave exactly where you want to. It comes with a touch screen, you can use it with the free Falcon Design Space app or also with Lightburn and if you prefer a mobile app it also has Wi-Fi built in. That was a quick summary, now let's take a closer look at the Falcon A1 Pro. And this is a quick unboxing, as you can see it comes well packaged with a lot of foam and on the inside you will find accessories like the manual, the power supply and while it's mostly assembled and uh, easy to get started for beginners I think um, the display is one of the few things that you still have to attach. Then the exhaust air hose, some power cable, um, the smaller accessories like the tube for the air assist and the air assist itself, um, more foam and the calibration card for the camera and the test piece of wood and here's the optional 2 watt IR module that you can use for metal engraving. To properly remove the protection foil on the front you temporarily remove the handle and this is how you attach the display. Uh, just plug in the ribbon cable and uh, slide it in the fixture and it's uh, ready to go. And now it's time to actually turn the A1 Pro on and the first thing we will then do afterwards is to um, let it home and now you can set it up it will ask for the Wi-Fi password if you want to connect it to Wi-Fi for the time zone and you can connect it to the app if you want then it does a self check and it's ready to go. First thing we are going to do is to use the new autofocus feature. You can see it has this gear to drive it up and down and a laser to detect the height. And um, the old one, the A1, had just this block here and the manual adjustment screws. And here you press one button and let it do its thing, but it also comes with the uh, focusing block. So if you want to do manual adjustment, you can also do that. Now about actual cutting and engraving, not only does the A1 Pro come with this much larger module, a 20 watt 455 nanometer diode laser, which is essentially blue light. Uh, now it also has the option that you can get this 2 watt IR module, which has the quick change mechanism. There's a tiny lever that removes the electrical connection and the air assist hose and a bigger lever on the side that you can push up and then you can remove the model, slide in the other one and uh, reverse the process. And, um, and with these two modules, the A1 Pro will cover most materials that you will usually uh, come across, at least when it comes to engraving, because the 2 watt IR module is not really suited for depth engraving or cutting metals, but um, you have most organic materials covered both regarding engraving and cutting with the diode laser, and you can also now uh, engrave metals and um, yeah, this covers most materials. The only exception might be completely clear materials, but most other stuff is now engravable with this combination of modules. Um, of course, there are special other kinds of uh, wavelengths and uh, laser engraver types uh, that can do some things better, especially when it comes to completely clear materials. Um, CO2 lasers for completely clear acrylic or um, UV lasers for glass and so on um, might have their niche, but these are also very expensive. And um, with the A1 Pro, you have a kind of affordable uh, option to do most things as long as you don't need to cut metal or thick, completely clear material. But uh, you can engraved glass with it that works if you prepare it a bit. I have included an overview that you can see here of the types of common laser engravers and cutters and the uh, types of 
uh, laser sources used in them. Uh, and if you want, you can pause it and uh, look closer at it. The two types on the left are the ones used in the Falcon A1 Pro, but the other ones are laser types that are usually quite a bit more expensive, but have their uses in the professional field, of course. Don't wonder about the sheet of metal that has seen some use that I put below there. It is just to protect the nice new surface of the A1 Pro. What you can see I put on there is a brass coin, um, and this will not have any effect if we try it with a, a diode laser, like uh, you won't really see anything um, and of course now with the IR module we can do some engraving on that so for example I made this falcon coin or a panda coin and they are really small pieces of metal you can also of course try bigger stuff um, here I have a hammer um, stainless steel would work on a diode laser to engrave but this is not stainless steel this is some kind of tool steel uh, and also this would not work on a diode laser and as you can see here you can engrave uh, more or less funny things on for example a hammer or on a, a wrench which uh, also um, would not work on the chrome finish if you used a 455 nanometer diode laser and there are things that would work both on a diode laser and on a IR laser like that where the effect of the IR laser looks quite a bit more intense in my opinion. For example, anodized aluminum and not even just on metal but also on the uh, slates or bright color plastic where the IR laser will have a stronger effect than the uh, diode laser which more melts the material than uh, to darken it. But you have to keep in mind that this is only a 2 watt module so you are more in the speed range of 200 millimeters per minute to 1000 millimeters per minute whereas a 20 watt or a 40 watt a diode laser on wood will go much faster of course you can go 10,000 millimeters per minute or even more especially on the falcon a1 series where you have a lightweight core xy movement system but as i said before the ir module is an optional addition to the a1 pro if you just buy the unit itself you will get this 20 watt diode laser module which also works for a lot of purposes, like for example engraving and cutting wood or a combination thereof. First the animals and the forest scene were engraved and then the puzzle was cut out and then also uh, a back piece for the frame was cut so that it holds. And there you have a fully giftable item that you have made yourself from scratch. For cutting materials this air resist pump which is included with the Falcon A1 helps a lot with nicer and cleaner cutting interfaces. But what you also kind of want for cutting is a honeycomb bed, uh, which enables the air assist to blow the smoke away on the bottom so that it does not settle on the workpiece. Um, I used to use this smaller 30 by 30 centimeter honeycomb, but there's now a special one for the Falcon A1, which has exactly the right size, which is this one. But you can use any that fits in there. While the engraving area is 35.8, times 26.8 centimeters. The actual space in the enclosure is about 46 times 35 centimeters in case you want to fit any other honeycomb bed. Now I would try to test the cutting ability uh, with 3 times 3 millimeters so 9 millimeter in total of plywood. Uh, if you want to cut you need to adjust the focus downwards a bit because otherwise it will not be in focus for the lower part of the material where it should cut. So do not just rely on the autofocus but use uh, the focusing block or uh, adjust it down a bit. The official number is 10 millimeters of wood that it should cut. Um, it did the 9 millimeters okay here but of course most of the time you would cut 3 millimeters or 5 millimeters of plywood um, which is more common and uh, also works much faster. Cutting other not completely transparent materials also works well. For example, I cut some semi-transparent acrylic here. But as you might have already seen before in the video, there's a lot of smoke coming out uh, from below the honeycomb bed when cutting and this is an issue not to underestimate. Because if you have an open frame laser engraver and you just cut wood indoors, um, it will quickly look like if you have made a campfire indoors.
the A1 Pro comes with this exhaust tube uh, that you can mount on the back like I did here. The best option is to route the smoke outside if you have a window nearby. If not, the smoke purifiers are really helpful. Um, I have the small one and the, the bigger Falcon one and um, I would definitely recommend the bigger one or maybe the new one which I don't have, uh, the AP one. The small one is okay maybe for light engraving but while cutting it filters the smoke visually but you can still smell it. So the bigger one is really an improvement. The enclosure is also a relevant feature of the Falcon A1 Pro. Uh, not just for catching the smoke but also for eye safety and it gives it a certified class 1 laser device rating which might be needed if you want to use it in a commercial context. If you want to engrave round objects with the Falcon A1 Pro that's also possible. Uh, you can get the rotary roller but you need also some other parts like these extension feet. The adapter cable to use most rotary rollers comes with the Falcon A1 already. You then also need to remove the bottom sheet of the Falcon A1 which means that it's not a class 1 laser anymore. So in this case I would strongly recommend that you wear safety goggles. Removing the bottom sheet is also a possibility if you need to engrave higher objects that would not fit in the Falcon A1 Pro otherwise. It's easily done by removing four screws. With the chuck rotary roller you can for example engrave things like this ring. In this case I also used the 2 watt IR module. But this other kind of rotation device which has two rollers on the bottom also works well for cylindrical objects that are a bit bigger like for example tumblers as you can see one here. The rotary roller can then also be configured in the Falcon Design Space software which is free to use with any of the Falcon laser engravers. Of course you can also use Lightburn if you prefer that, a uh, profile for that is also supplied. But it's $99 after the 30 day trial. Lightbomb still has some functions that Creality Falcon Design Space does not have like the material test. But for basic stuff you can find pretty much everything in Falcon Design Space 2 now. It also integrates this Craftseek site where you can find some inspiration for models or projects that you could engrave if, if you don't have any idea what you want to do. Falcon Design Space also has features like the material library where you can just select commonly sold materials and get the right parameters for your device right away. Also the calibration for the camera that is on top of the Falcon A1's enclosure is also to find here. You would use the calibration card and take pictures and then engrave a test pattern and set the points where it matches and then get a calibration for a certain height. You do need to calibrate it for different heights because of the parallax effect. There's also a firmware saved configuration on the device already so you can try if that is good enough. And then you can align things uh, directly on a picture of the uh, engraving surface and put uh, especially small markings where they should go without too much guesswork. Besides the Falcon Design Space software, the Creality Wiki page is also quite helpful. So if you should encounter any issue with the device, it's likely that you will find some information there on how to resolve it. And also links to instruction videos that you can follow along. And there is now also an app available for iOS and Android. So you can use the A1 Pro with your phone or tablet. You can monitor the device in it or you can also set up your engravings, your cuttings and your projects. I have tried the app out and it worked and I have engraved some small things with it. Uh, but I personally prefer the PC version because it's just much faster and more efficient to use. There is a quite active community around the Falcon Lasers on Facebook in the Facebook group. Uh, I know not everyone uses Facebook anymore, I also uh, try to avoid it. However, it's worth checking out because there are often giveaways. For example, currently you can also win a Falcon A1 Pro there uh, or discount codes. And if you have any questions uh, before buying one or if you have any issues that you can't resolve with the information on the wiki or so, you can also ask there. I'll include the link in the description. To sum things up a bit, let's look at materials that can be engraved and cut with the Falcon A1 and things that could be made. Wood and wood-based materials like cork, paper and cardboard like the birthday card are things that can be done with the 22 watt diode laser. 
Uh, also complex models like the crocodile here, which is engraved and cut, leather, acrylic, which can be engraved and cut, or dark plastic, like the tumbler in the back is made of. And in the middle here, I have put some materials that work on both, like the slate or these aluminum cards that are coated. And the stainless steel engraving with the color effect would also work on either of these. Yeah, and as we discussed before, the effect on plastic is sometimes even better with the IR module compared to the 22 watt module, which has only a very light effect here. And then on the left, the materials that would only engrave with the IR module of the Falcon A1, which are metals that are not stainless steel, titanium or coated or painted in some way, but tool steel, brass, copper, pure aluminium, and so on. You can also think about other fun ways to use it, for example, on neodymium magnets. So as long as your requirement is not to actually cut metal, then the Falcon A1 has you covered in most areas if you get it together with the 2W IR module or upgrade it later. But even if you just get it with the 20W blue light module, there are many ways to use it and the engraving quality is quite good. As you can see here, I compared it to a 10W module. The lower the power of a diode laser, usually the better the precision is because fewer diodes are combined into one laser spot. The main limiting factor of the A1 Pro, in my opinion, is the limited engraving area of 358 times 268 millimeters, and that the frame is fixed and not extendable in the X or Y direction. But at least, as I showed you before, you can adjust the height of the A1 Pro uh, as high as you want for any object that you want to fit under it by removing the bottom sheet. The main pros are that it's fully enclosed, a Class 1 certified laser engraver, has the camera for positioning built in and the Wi-Fi and the display, comes with the air assist and this way gives you some accessories that you would probably buy later on anyway if you get a cheaper laser engraver without these. I hope I have answered most of your questions about the Creality Falcon A1 Pro laser engraver with this video and if you have any more questions please leave a comment. If you want to look further into it I will also leave some links in the description. Thank you for watching.